Joining us today, Mr. El Guapo just picked up his fourth UFC win. Chris Gutierrez, how are you today, my friends? What's up, man? I'm good. I'm good. Just resting up right now. Awesome. Yes, yeah, that's, that's part of the process. I, I see you got that little beauty mark under the the eye there. How, how's the body feeling after after that win uh, the other night? Oh, uh, you know the body's good. You know, just a little a little banged up, but you know, like I said, that's part of it. And uh, I'll be back. Oh yeah, for for sure. Uh, I bet that uh, the girlfriend like that, uh, or the girlfriend or the wife like that black guy for the Valentine's Day, no? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how how did you uh, how did you spend the Valentine's Day? I know obviously this year might have been a little bit different. Maybe you had to stay home, but uh, did you enjoy that? Uh, did you enjoy last night? No, yeah, I still I still got to be able to enjoy Valentine's Day. I just went to go get to grow from flowers and stuff like that, and chocolates, you know, that's it, that's the most important part, is being able to spend time with it, your loved ones. Yeah, you gotta be honest with us, I'm sure you enjoy those chocolates the day after your fight, you gotta be feeling good after that, no? I do, I do, definitely, that's, <laughs> that's the good part, like, sitting in the room last night, it was so good. What's, what's like the best chocolate, I guess, that you had last night? Uh, now you know what? The cinnamon rolls take the cake. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, the cinnamon rolls, man, that was, I needed us to. <laughs> well, for sure, gotta, gotta refuel, I guess, after that uh, long weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, All right, so the real reason we're here today is for you to discuss your uh, your fight with uh, Andre Ewell. It was uh, a, a real one sided uh, battle there uh, the other night. Uh, those leg kicks um, are becoming a huge, huge part of your game. I'm sure you've been discussed about that uh, a lot throughout your last two fights. Um, so talk to me, first of all, those leg kicks. Uh, was it really the last fight that you started adapting those into your game? No. no so I've before been, that? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I play soccer my life, man. That's I what I do. So, yeah. I, I, I got really hard kicks, I guess. <laughs> but... You know, there, there's more to me than just leg kicks, um, mm -hmm. you know. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. If it, ain't, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Oh, for sure, for sure. So I'm sure that, that soccer helps a ton growing up. Uh, that The strength, I guess, developed over time, and now you can implement that into the MMA world. But talk to me about Andre Yule. You took this fight on one week's notice, but I'm sure you were training before that, so really there was no week's notice, two weeks' notice, whatever it was. Um, so talk to me, first of all, Andre Ewell, how was that matchup? We saw what happened in the cage that Saturday night, but in your opinion, he was across from you. So talk to us. How, how did you feel in that fight? I feel good, you know. I got to do some things that I, you know, haven't done in a while. And, uh, you know, just getting back to my roots, getting back to what I do. Uh, as far as me and Andre, uh, you know, we, we've been somebody, we've been wanting to fight each other for so long, uh, you know, we finally got to do it so you know it just it just came into fruition so quick in a couple of days yeah so your, your teammate Jonathan Martinez I believe you mentioned that uh, they fought previously so you got you got that win and brought it back to Factory X so was that something you thought about after you picked up that win on Saturday night oh definitely you know I was you know, of course you know you want to get that win back and so Oh, excuse me. You know, getting that win back was important, but, you know, he's also a really good friend of mine, so just wanted to advance him in that aspect. So it was so good to get the, to get, so good to get the uh, win back for the team, but also for, you know, an individual itself. Yeah, so, so like I mentioned, you picked up your fourth win in the UFC. You're improving in the ranks and everything. Uh, the loss that happened on Tough 28, I believe it was, was against... Rayoni Barcelo, so he's currently on the roster. I, sh I wanted to ask you, is that a fight you could see coming into fruition, um, hopefully soon, in your uh, UFC career? Yeah, of course. It would be a, a fight I'm sure most likely will happen later later down the line. Is it a matchup that will happen right now? I don't believe it's something that will happen right now. But you never know. You know, it, mm -hmm. it could be. Just, it's never know in this game, especially in these times. Yeah, so, like, it is your fourth win. That's that's big. A lot of people 
um, sometimes don't even make it that far in the UFC career. But are there any other fights that uh, you feel will be coming next for you, maybe soon in your your future? Uh, do I have like any any like? I mean, I got a couple people in mind, but uh, but you know, it's not about what I want. So the next question I had for you here was. I believe you're rocking kind of a new hairstyle. The hair was flat in that that fight. Usually, it's a little cut up here a little bit. So talk to me. Is that a hairstyle you see in the future? Maybe coming soon? Uh, I don't. I don't know. What do you mean? I just I just cut my hair. I just faded it. I just you know took off the back or you know did all that. Man, nothing really. It didn't you know, look too bad. It was fed around. It was flat because I had gel in it, but we were in the back. You know. You know uh, you know, you're in the back sweating and stuff, and you know I give a damn about how my hair looks afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looked like you, it looked like you styled it before you walked out. It looked like you just threw the water on the head and you're all ready to go. <laughs> oh, that was sweat. That was not no water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so your division is continuously um, growing and progressing in the world. So you are a natural 35er, correct? Yep. Yeah, so you, you took this fight at 140, but talk to me. We got Yan versus Sterling coming up. How are you seeing this fight? Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of a lot of exciting things happening in this division, but Yan versus Sterling is the big topic right now. So talk to me. Who do you have in that fight and why? What is that one? Uh, I believe it's it's coming soon. I know that. I'm not sure exactly what card, but I know it's one of the stacked ones with the Megan Anderson fight against Amanda Nunes. I don't see that fight playing out. I don't know. You know, uh, we'll see. I, you know, I, I, stylistically, it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, pretty fun. You know, Sterling's very, you know, his name, his fight name is this guy's from Funkmaster. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's just very funky. He's just all over the place. And and um, the other guy, he's just very, um, he's very, you know, Peter Yan is very like straightforward, very Muay Thai. You know, but he's very elusive, too, so we'll see, you know. Yeah, so something else that happened, I know, I'm sure you heard about it. You might have even watched it. Frankie Edgar getting knocked out by Corey Sandhagen. So talk to me. How are you feeling in that moment? You, you, the knee went, and then you just saw him go down. The poor guy, the veteran. Talk to me. What were your thoughts when that moment happened? You know, uh, you know, Frankie, you know, he has a tendency of kind of like, Dropping. I mean, it's, it's good, right? You have to drop levels in for eventually. For sure, yeah. And, uh, he just got caught, you know. He knew that. Uh, he knew Cody Sanhagen. Uh, Cody Sanhagen knew that he was not going to like shoot on, shoot in on him. So, <laughs> you know, when he went down, Cody bounced up and ran into a knee. Is that something you could have expected coming from that fight? Uh yeah, eventually I yeah I knew that that he was he would have he was gonna like throw jumping knees and stuff you know some form mm. of knees, but for it to be like five seconds in the first round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So first of all, I wanna I wanna thank you. This looks like all the time we have today. I know you must have other plans, but I wanna thank you personally for coming on the show. We enjoyed your performance this Saturday night, and hopefully we'll be seeing you back in that cage soon. But before I let you go. I want to give you the opportunity to shout anyone out who's helped you uh, for this last fight or even from uh, previous moments. I see you're rocking that sheath underwear shirt. That's oh. some of the best underwear in the game, man. I got to be honest with you. Um, but uh, the floor is all yours here. Yeah, thank you, man. Of course, I want to thank all the sponsors and my team, Factory X. And, you know, everyone that supports me, all the love and support, you know, I appreciate it. Well, thank you, man, for having me on. Yeah, for sure. You got to throw these in there. We got the sheath yeah, underwear. But- Got the new shipment in today. You really are comfortable, man. Oh man, we got that dual pouch and everything. (laughs) I'm sure you're rocking those on fight night. Come on, you gotta be honest. Uh, no, after the fight, yeah. After the fight. Yeah, we gotta keep them clean. (laughs) 